Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. I'm back once again with my co-host this evening, Peter X. Fing, editor of a very interesting book titled Screening Asian Americans, which is a collection of essays about how Asians have been portrayed on film over the years, the very topic we're talking about tonight. Welcome back, Peter. Thank you, Robert. Now, up next, we have a comedy from MGM in 1956 called The Tea House of the August Moon, starring Marlon Brando as a wise and wily Okinawan, Glenn Ford as an army captain charged with modernizing Brando's village. Why did you pick this movie? First of all, just for Marlon Brando uh, as an Okinawan, right? To us, I think it looks kind of ludicrous, but at the time, of course, he was a method actor, and everybody right. knew this, and the idea that he could transform himself for all of his roles, put on weight, lose weight, even become Japanese. Right. And also, it was a very juicy part, and there were no really big box office Asian actors at that time in America. That's, that's true. Yeah. How do was, you think he does? Well, I think he looks kind of silly with the makeup on, but, uh, you know, he did a thorough job. He right. studied movement. He, he studied the accent. Uh, he, he captures a lot of that. But no matter how well he captures it, he's standing next to so many actual Japanese actors right. that he, he still can't help looking a little bit ludicrous. And what about the story, the plot line of this? Well, we're, we're set in Okinawa, one of the, one of the southern prefectures of, of Japan, um, occupied uh, by, by the United States. And uh, uh, it's a satire about the U.S. Army's attempts to modernize and bring democracy to the people of Japan. Um, but it's a satire in that the Americans are shown to be kind of ludicrous for thinking that they can impose their culture on these people who have known another way of life for centuries. Um, and Marlon Brando's role is kind of a, a trickster figure, right? He's constantly undercutting and defeating and, uh, the, the efforts of, of Glenn Ford uh, so that ultimately they come to build a tea house and not the school that they had hoped to build. Kind of the bumbling Americans sending Absolutely. foot overseas where, where they don't know what's going on. Yeah, that's, that was the message of the film. And so in, in that sense, the film is, is very critical of, of the United States' involvement in Asia after the war. On the other hand, the Okinawans are portrayed as being childlike and, and reverting back to their, to their old ways and everything and unable to be modernized. So mm -hmm. in some ways it's a critique of American ignorance, but in other ways it still suggests that, that Japanese American or Japanese uh, need our help. Let's have a look at the film. Here it is from 1956, also with Japanese star Mashiko Kayo, also Eddie Albert and Paul Ford, The Tea House of the August Moon.